Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm excited to be connecting in with you. It's such an honor and a privilege when we have an opportunity to stop and pause, take a breath, and really connect in with ourselves, with each other. Sometimes we're moving so fast. uh, We need a moment to even just pause so we can catch up with ourselves (laughs) as we move throughout the day. And especially when we're in a time when things are changing, shifting our patterns, we're having to approach things in new ways. It's especially important that we remember to stop, pause, breathe just for a moment so that we can catch up with ourselves and even think a little bit more clearly and be able to approach our day in a more purposeful, mindful way. So it's not running us. So we're honored to be part of that time to meet with you, and our intention is to pour into you, to support and empower you to live on purpose and with great purpose, especially during challenging times. So thank you for joining us today. We have a really special show lined up where we're going to be talking with amazing experts. You're going to love getting to know each and every one of them. They are incredible in the types of things that they are leaning in and what they are doing and bringing to the world, but also who they are choosing to be. I know that you will be inspired and encouraged by them. And we're starting a special series. It's a four or five part series where we're going to be talking with these amazing experts that are coming together uniting and collaborating together to bring forward their wisdom, their insights to empower you all around the world. So we're all collecting together to bring forward a book called Experts and Influencers, the Women's Empowerment Edition. So every amazing author in this book is an expert and influencer in their own right. And they are coming together to unite to really support women around the world. What is it that they have learned and discovered and wish they had known sooner (laughs) that they can share with you to empower you on your journey? What a gift to be able to tap into that wisdom and information and take it in and bring it forward, especially during times like this. So I want you to write down a couple things. One, the book's going to be released on June 10th. So mark that date on your calendar, circle it, (laughs) put a star by it, because when we release the book, it's going to be released in a Kindle book so people can have instant access to it for the special rate of one U.S. dollar. So it's easy for people to lean into and tap into this wisdom and information. So I want to make sure you mark that special day on your calendar. You watch during um, that day. We're going to share out the links for everybody to lean into so they can take advantage of that special rate. But the series that we're going to be doing on radio is an opportunity for us to pull back the curtain a little bit and talk with each of these amazing ladies as they share a little bit of what you can look forward into that forward to learning in the book as well as some of what they have discovered and learned so that you can start to bring that forward and apply that in your life today. So welcome. Great lineup. It's going to move fast because we've got a lot. We have four amazing guests. So double our normal number. (laughs) So be ready to lean in and listen. And I want to make sure you're fully present so you don't miss one sentence (laughs) that could serve, support, and empower you. And I know there are many gems that are here today to support you in your life by the very nature that you are tuning in. So let's fully be present. Mind, body, soul, and spirits. Take a breath together. In through the nose. See how big you can make your belly? Out through the mouth. Like through a straw. Beautiful. Take another beautiful breath. And as you do... I invite you to close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. We're just going to close out any distractions for a moment. It's you and I and us, and we are connected here together. 
Eyes closed, keep breathing. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head and to mindfully, purposely remind you as you're breathing to bring all of you present, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And in this space, when you feel that hand on your heart, I want you to ask yourself, what is it that you need today? What do you need to encourage you, to support you, to empower you? Real time, what is it that you need and are willing to receive because you have choice? What is it that you need and are willing to receive? Just receive that information. We're just identifying. We're not talking about how. We're getting clarity on what it is that you need and are willing to receive. Beautiful. Receive that information. Let's take another breath. Come back into the room. Eyes open, fully present. Take a moment to write down what it is that you need and are willing to receive real time. This helps you start to co-create it, to bring it forward, bring it into reality. And it also helps you keep it top of mind so that as you go back out in the world, you're able to glance down and remember exactly what it is that you need unattached to how. In fact, you're looking forward to being surprised at the wonderful and amazing way that this particular need will be met. So you're looking forward, you're leaning in with excitement and anticipation as you're on the lookout to receive the very thing that you need. Beautiful. And as we go through our conversations today, be listening for the tips, the information that can support you in moving you forward in that powerful way that you need today. We're going to go around our virtual room. And as we do so, I'm going to ask each of our amazing guests just to share 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and we took a moment to stop, pause, and listen what was laid on their heart. And to start, I'd love to check in with you, Tina. What was laid on your heart? Just a quick 10, 15 second share. We'd love to hear. Hi, Rebecca. What was laid in my heart through that meditation was that I just channel whatever it is that touches the hearts of the women listening to this program to give them what it is that they need. Oh, beautiful. I love that. So everyone listening, feel that support that is already coming to support you in your need. Beautiful. Thank you. Appreciate you sharing. (laughs) I felt a a warmth in my heart um, with the connection of everybody. So that's, that's what was really dropped into my heart and spirit was the reminder of that connection. Elle, how about you? What was laid on your heart? Hi, Rebecca. Thank you for having me here today. It's, uh, it's great to be here. Um, of course, definitely empowerment and uh, giving value. But it's like you said, it's not only giving, but also being able to receive. And I think the receiving sometimes to me it feels like a bigger part than giving. Beautiful. Thank you for that reminder, being open to receive, because if we're all giving, but no one's open to receive, it doesn't work. (laughs) So we all need to be open (laughs) as well. So wonderful reminder. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Michelle, how about you? What was laid on your heart? Well, Rebecca, what was laid on my heart was the need for courage. Courage kept Mm. coming up. Courage that's backed by security, a feeling that I'm safe to step out and I'm safe to take these movements forward, whatever it is that you're feeling called to do. Courage is the key for, for me today. Beautiful. It does take courage to step forward and feeling, especially to bring that safety and security with you. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. And how about you, Mary? What was laid on your heart? Oh, hi, Rebecca. That was a beautiful meditation. And I just have to say, I love the synchronicity. Every morning I ask for courage and grace. And I heard Grace Mm -hmm. and Michelle just said courage. And so 
we're we're needing both of them and being able to receive them is so critical right now. Beautiful. Thank you. And that grace to ourselves and to others is so important. And I love that because I was led in the the order that I was supposed to call on each of you. So I love that. (laughs) It Mm -hmm. all flows and fits together as we trust that and and let things unfold. Um, So thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. And listeners, we're getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do that, I want you to take these two minutes as the commercials are playing in the background with updates and information we want you to know and be aware of to be still. Resist the urge to go cross things off the to-do list for our list people. Instead, stay present and really listen to your heart and to your spirit and create that openness to receive all that will be coming forward in our conversation. And we'll look forward to be ta- to talking with you in two minutes. Be sure to friend us on Facebook. You can do it right now. Visit facebook.com forward slash voice America or search for us at keyword voice America. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Get Unchained. Tune in every Monday for Jane Unchained on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Featuring nationally recognized, best-selling author, TV journalist, and social media influencer, Jane Velez Mitchell. This program takes you inside a trending lifestyle that's the next wave of human evolution. It all starts on your plate. If you want to revolutionize your life, get happier, more energized, then discover the secret. Tune in to Jane Unchained Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective, plus topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at blog.voiceamerica.com. That's blog.voiceamerica.com. The Voice America Press Blog. All access, all the time. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you had an opportunity to breathe and and just be. Sometimes being is so powerful and we forget that that's enough sometimes just to be fully present in a moment and receive all that is around us. Being aware, catching up with ourselves. Today, we're, we connected in with our amazing experts on a heart level at the opening segment. And now we're going to get to know each of these amazing women in a deeper way. Now, be mindful that these are just highlights that I'm sharing with you. I encourage you to get to know these amazing women 
learn more about who they are and what they're doing there. They lead powerful communities and connections to really empower women around the world. So I know you're going to enjoy getting to know them. Again, we are all coming together. These are experts and influencers. They're part of the Expert and Influencer book series, the Women's Empowerment Edition that will be launching on June 10th. So I want to make sure everybody has the date. I will repeat it several times throughout the show today. So nobody misses that. And we're going to talk to them a little bit about why they leaned into being a part of a project like this and sharing their chapter title. The first amazing expert I'm excited to introduce you to, her name is Tina Dowdy. She has over 22 years experienced as an accomplished health professional and entrepreneur. She's the creator of the Women's Success Collective Summit, and she has numerous certifications in mindfulness, intuitive counseling, and in business coaching. She is absolutely passionate about helping you design a soul-aligned business plan to achieve your joy, dreams, and desired income. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful Tina Dowdy to the show. Welcome. Thank you so much for that introduction, Rebecca. And I am just very grateful to be here. I'm thrilled to have you joining us and excited about all that you are doing (laughs) and bringing forward. And I would love for you to share why this particular project called to you, because I know that you're careful and, and everyone um, that leaned in is very careful about the projects they say yes to because we can get pulled so many directions and this one called to you and you leaned in and you said yes I'd love to know um, why you felt called to be part of this yeah well I was so incredibly pulled to be part of this beautiful book because it was really clear to me that the intention of this particular project felt so very strongly aligned with my own intention in the work that I do with women, which is to empower women on ways to create that meaningful progress that they're trying to achieve in achieving a happy lifestyle or to thrive in their business and to give them a sense of purpose and belonging. And also, I really just love the power of joint ventures I believe um, that women supporting other women to succeed is one of the most amazing gifts we can give to each other. And in this case, I felt there was just so much great value in having a collaboration of women sharing such diverse stories because I believe that the readers will find their own story within these real-life stories, Mm -hmm. and it will give them a much wider and deeper perspective on how to face their own challenges and to face them head on and to know that one does not have to suffer in silence or go through a major hurdle alone. And I believe that the stories and the practical tools that are being offered in this book will inspire women to honor their lives and to realize that life's not happening um, to them, it's happening for them and to take that next step to create that life that they love. I love that. That was such a great um, quote for us to echo forward. (laughs) It's not happening to us, but for us. Really, really powerful. And do you mind sharing the title of your chapter? Yes. My chapter title is called Claiming Your Self-Worth, A Rite of Passage. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Rebecca. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Beautiful. And I'm excited to introduce our next amazing guest. Her name is Elle Ballard. She was born in Casatan and is live, has been living in the U.S. since 2002, where she had to actually start her um building her life over just from scratch while supporting her family. So she knows what's that like. That's like, she now has her MBA in marketing. She has built a successful marketing career. She's a certified John Maxwell speaker and founder of women of the world network. She is passionate about helping women connect 
come together around the world and support each other. So you can already see some of the amazing alignment (laughs) that these uh, powerful leaders have, that we can connect together from around the world and support one another. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful Elle Ballard to the show. Welcome! Thank you so much, Rebecca. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here and honor to be here. I am thrilled to have you joining us, and I would love for you to share why this project called to you, and we'd love to know the chapter of your title, the chapter of your title. You're, <laughs> I'm getting tongue-tied. I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> the title of your chapter. There we go. <laughs> we'd love to know both. Awesome. Yes, Absolutely. So first of all, why did I decide? Why, why did I decide to participate in the project? Uh, because um, it absolutely resonates with my vision of empowering ladies, and it's yes. it's completely fully aligned. When I remember our conversation when you and me spoke, and I just realized how it's aligned with my mission and vision for Women of the World Network, where we help ladies, we uh, empower ladies, we create this community of different multicultural ladies, doesn't matter background, doesn't matter religion or whatever, education, social status, you know, none of that. Just helping ladies, you know, come together, find themselves and get where they want to be in their lives. And I thought this book project is absolutely aligned with with that goal. So just giving, providing more value to to the women um, around the world, really. Beautiful. And thank you. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And the name oh. of my chapter is "Your Internal Authentic Voice Is Your Compass." Beautiful. I love that. So, for anyone who has been wondering where to go next, <laughs> what to do, looking for <laughs> that compass, here's a chapter to really uh-huh. help you tap into that and discover how to read it to help guide your life. Um, Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. And then Michelle, I would love for you. Well, actually, before you share, I'm jumping ahead. Let me more formally introduce you. So Michelle (laughs) Calloway is the founder of Tech With Heart Network community and TV show. She's an international speaker, best-selling author, and CEO of an innovative software and media company called Revealio. She has been featured in the INC magazine and has been praised by Kevin Harvington, Harrington of ABC's hit TV show, many of you have heard of, Shark Tank, for her work. She is passionate about helping you use technology so that you can connect more deeply and powerfully from the heart with those who need you most. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful and heart-centered Michelle Calloway to the show. Welcome! I am so happy to be here and to just share my story, hopefully be a source of empowerment, inspiration, encouragement to all you wonderful ladies out there listening. So do you want me to go ahead and talk? Yes, we're excited. (laughs) (laughs) Thrilled to have you joining us. And I was was just, um, you couldn't hear me nodding. So I'm glad to have you joining (laughs) us, excited. And I'd love for you to share why this project called to you, what about it pulled you in to say yes and really felt compelled to be part of this and what the chapter, what the title of your chapter is. So people can be looking for that in the book. Well, sure. Let me go ahead and start with the chap, the title of my chapter. It's called becoming extraordinary living life with purpose. And I'm not sharing this to tell my own horn. I'm sharing this because I believe so deeply that each one of us has a calling, a purpose for our life. And us women oftentimes may not feel so empowered or uh, courageous to step into that calling. Maybe we feel like we're playing more of a supportive role in life. just depends on how we were raised. But me, myself, I was a very shy little girl and then uh, ended up being widowed uh, very early on in my life. lost my best friend and it really rocked my life. It rocked my faith. And it really challenged me to take a deep, deep look at why am I here? And I did feel a call, and the call was to step into 
this role of a leader in technology, which I did not see coming for, <laughs> I would never have a guess. <laughs> but now that I'm in this role, I see that my role is to bring technology to the world in a way that is warm, heart-centered, and allows enhancement of human connection. And so now I'm a thought leader in the technology space, leading community, and I'm, I want to just show and share my story and say, if God calls you to it, He will see you through it, I promise. And I want to be a source of inspiration, encouragement, and a guide to any women who feel a little bit scared to step out and, and answer that call. Um, whatever it is, it could look very different for each one of us. And so I just want to encourage you to live that life with purpose. You only have this one life, so let's make the best of it and let's fulfill our destiny while we're here, shall we? Yes. So I hope everybody's leaning in and nodding <laughs> in agreement. And um, thank you for so much, so much for sharing just a little bit of your journey and that reminder that if you're called, you're going to be seen through and you can really um, trust that and lean into that. Um, such an important reminder. And this is a time where many of us are slowing down, going deeper and starting to hear some of that prompting of our heart and spirit. So thank you for sharing. Mm. Okay. And then our fourth amazing guest is Mary E. Knipple. She is the Writer Unleashed, international bestselling author, inspirational speaker, and founder of Your Writing Mentor. She uses her 35 plus years experience as a journalist and journaling to support you to move through some of those blocks we can have when we look at a piece of paper and we're looking to write. So she helps guide you through so you can hear your voice, you can discover your message, and you're able to then bring that forward and share it in the world because she passionately believes your story matters and you are the only one who can tell it in your way and your voice. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful Mary E. Knipple to the show. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. I can just feel that energy and the room is just vibrating because we all have so much wisdom to share and we're just so passionate about it. I am committed to inspiration, compassion, and synchronicity and it's not a coincidence that all four of us are on the show today sharing with you because we are all yeah. called to be part of this project with you. You do such an incredible job in bringing forth what the women who are longing for this information to receive. And because it was all about women's empowerment and that's that's my mission as well, to help women know that their story matters and Maybe we haven't invented something. Maybe we're not the first to do something, but we do it from our hearts, and it's our soul's calling. And that's why my chapter is The Grace of Unexpected Gifts. It's recognizing what is happening in our lives and how we cope with it and overcome whatever challenges the universe brings to us. And as a result... I may cry, you may cry, and that brings me joy to know that I've touched you and reached the soul, soul to soul, that the message has been received. Thank you, and I can feel your heart and your care um, so deeply and so powerfully and the encouragement and truth of your words. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Listeners, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break, which I just think is perfect timing <laughs> for all of us to take a moment, take these two minutes to really receive what is being shared on our heart as a result of listening to these powerful shares by our four guests. What is being laid on your heart? What is being prompted? What is being pulled forth? Enjoy these two minutes to really go deep 
listen, receive, and look back at your intention. Let's see how we're working on supporting that. And we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Think you've seen everything there is to see in online television? Let us surprise you. Visit voiceamerica.tv today for sports, health, business, and more on demand 24-7. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Sustainable success is just around the corner. If you are an entrepreneur, business leader, or anybody looking for their next level of success, tune into Sustainable Success with host Chris Salem. Did you know that the path to success is a long path that started many years ago? The path you started on then determines what is happening now. Chris and his amazing guests in their field will help you navigate the path to sustainable success every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Time and 9 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics, reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. Change starts here. Change starts now. Join us. The Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that it gave you an opportunity to just really take in what is being shared with you. One of the great pieces of advice my grandma shared with me was remembering to process things, to slow down a little bit in the highs in life and the lows in life, to take a moment to receive, to process, to integrate And that just takes slowing down a little bit and listening and receiving. And when you breathe, you're processing things and and releasing what does not serve. You bring in what does. And it helps process and integrate things on a cellular level. So that's part of the reason we weave this time in throughout our show so that you are able to integrate what serves you so that at the end of the show it's already become part of you and you take it with you instead of adding it to the to-do list so be listening for those things to receive that can support you that align with you so you can bring that forward one pause one breath at a time into your life so welcome back We're continuing our conversation with our amazing experts as we dig into a little bit more of what we can look forward to in their chapters. They each shared in our previous conversation about what you can look forward, why they leaned into this project and what their chapter title is. 
And that sometimes gives you a little bit of an indicator of what you can look forward to in their chapter. So we're going to build on that a little bit during this next segment. Oh, welcome back. Again, we're talking with amazing experts and authors from the Expert and Influencer series, the Women's Empowerment Edition. And they are each sharing from their heart about what they are looking forward to sharing and bringing forward in this book to support you on your journey. So with that, Michelle, I wanted to start with you. If I could have you tell us the title of your chapter one more time in case anyone missed it. And then I'd love for you to share and expand a little bit on what people can look forward to discovering and learning in your chapter. Absolutely, Rebecca. Thank you again so much for this opportunity to share. Um, My chapter title is called Becoming Extraordinary, Living Life with Purpose. And the, what I hope to benefit by sharing this story in this chapter is to inspire and encourage women who feel that they are on the cusp of uh, sensing a calling in their life, maybe a, a deeper purpose for their existence here on Earth. A lot of times um, we feel that we're meant for more, but we just don't know exactly what that looks like. And so in my chapter, we really do focus on helping you um, identify perhaps what your purpose is, and that is going to look very differently for everybody. And for me, I am a faith-based person, so I believe God is is showing me my purpose. And then once you are uh, um, enlightened as to what your purpose may be, then we tap into the passion that drives the action that you need to take to start fulfilling that purpose. And then we also will talk about perseverance through life because it is a journey. It doesn't usually happen yes. just in a, <laughs> in a month or so. So you will, we will talk about um, purpose, passion, and perseverance to ultimately know that even on, if you happen to die in, in a month, you know that you lived your best life, your purpose driven life. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. I love that. Those reminders that it is a journey, but we can tap into it and tomorrow isn't guaranteed. It's important that we um, do purposely choose what we're bringing forward, what we're leaning into. Um, So I so appreciate you sharing and ladies, everybody listening, what I hope you're also hearing is that not only are these amazing chapters giving you their personal journeys. Each each woman has really been open and transparent about sharing their journey, but they're also sharing great practical tips and tools and steps for you to follow so that you can apply what they've learned in their life through sweat, blood, and tears that you can benefit from. And really step forward with. So thank you so much for sharing, Michelle. I really, really appreciate it. You betcha. And I just want to say one more thing. By saying yes to your calling, you are essentially saying goodbye to an ordinary life. And there's nothing more fulfilling than living a purpose-driven life. Yes. I'm nodding and smiling, but you are correct. (laughs) No more of the ordinary. (laughs) Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And Tina, I would love for you to share the title of your chapter again, just in case anyone missed it or they want to write it down, and a little bit of what they can look forward to experiencing in your chapter. Sure. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, My chapter title is Claiming Your Self-Worth, A Rite of Passage. And I, I think the biggest takeaway I'd like our readers to have is that we only have this one life and that it's important to be in full acceptance that as a human, we were meant to be a work in progress. And part of being in progress is fully knowing your value and that it's perfectly safe to give yourself permission to reinvent yourself at any time, at any phase of your life, whenever you feel called to do it. And What's really important to know about that is that starting over works best only when you go in knowing your worth and embracing your worth with open arms. And so it's a learning process. And I'd like to share a short paragraph in the chapter that speaks to that point. 
Sure. So we get a little uh, preview. I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a tiny little preview here. And the, that paragraph goes like this. Even when you follow all the rules, good intentions will go really bad when the voice of your inner goddess is being muted. After all, she is your fearless leader that enforces you to learn the elemental laws of success. She is the part of you that summons the courage to be authentic, vulnerable, and rooted in your core values so that every decision you make comes from that space of self-realization. It was time for me to open my heart to her. And that's what I hope everybody will gain. I hope they will open their heart to their inner goddess. Mm, Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate that. And listeners, I hope that today you take a moment to tap in and listen. As we're building those times throughout the show, it's a wonderful opportunity to tap in and listen to that guidance. Listen to um, perhaps what we've been so busy we haven't slowed down to hear. And we want to make sure that we're on purpose as we're building those things that we are uniquely called to bring forward. Um, Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. Thank you. And Mary, I'd love for you to share the title of your chapter again, as well as give us an idea or an example of what we could look forward to discovering and learning in your beautiful chapter. Oh, thank you so much, Rebecca. So my chapter is The Grace of Unexpected Gifts. Um, which to me means you meet whatever life brings you with an open mind and heart because you have the strength to cope with whatever it is, the guts to not back down from this challenge, and incredible creativity to turn that unexpected gift from tragedy into triumph. It's no coincidence that the bonus of these unexpected gifts is you having the opportunities to get to know someone you have been longing to know on an intimate level, and that's yourself, unexpected your authentic gifts. self. And when yes. I talk about unexpected yes. gifts, it's, it's not, you know, a trinket from Amazon. Call from the doctor's office saying, we, you need to come in because there's something we saw on your mammogram. It's, your son-in-law calling to say, you got to come because there's something wrong with your daughter. And also the unexpected gift of becoming a grandma when you never thought that that was on your radar. Yeah. So it's how do you receive them and what do you do next? Yeah, beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Mary. And, I, and one of the things I really appreciate about your chapter is how open and transparent you are with those um, unexpected gifts that that you received and those challenges and moments and how you chose to face them. And it gives us an opportunity to learn from that and gain um, wisdom so that when we're facing our unexpected moments, we're able to um, move forward with grace and purpose. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. And Elle, how about you? Would you mind repeating your chapter title just so everybody has that? And then we'd love to learn a little bit of what we can discover um, in the pages of your beautiful chapter. Yes, absolutely. So the chapter name is Your Internal Authentic Voice is Your Compass. And um, what ladies shared, uh, this um, other amazing ladies shared on this call before me, you know, it's absolutely coming. And by the way, those are all amazing. Um, I cannot wait to read your chapters. <laughs> but I think it's so important to be able to uh, stop in the midst of business of our life and ask yourself and listen to that authentic inside voice that's um, that giving sounds to you or telling you. And I think it's also important that um, always remembering whatever you want, that something wants you to. That something pulls you, pulling you as well. And uh, universe always brings you where you need to be. And, uh, you know, and I think it's just so important to we forget that because we get so busy, um, yeah. you know. And there is this great quote that I want to share. At the center of your being you have the answer. You know who you are, and you know what you want. 
that's by Lao Tzu. And so that's so, to me, I think the profound, uh, along the chapter, and I'm sharing the lessons from my experience as well in the chapter, but, um, yeah, so that's, um, that's one of the biggest messages that I wanted to bring. Thank you for sharing. I um, appreciate that. And I agree. This All of you are really powerful and amazing. Each of your chapters are such a gift to the readers. And I'm very honored to be compiling and leading this project and bringing it forward. And I know that each of you come from such an amazing space and desire to serve. And it's so important that we do that, especially at times like this. So I really appreciate you sharing, Elle. I'm very honored to have each of you as part of this book and part of this project. And I wanted to take a moment because we as a, a global community are are facing some really uncertain and challenging times. We're facing things we haven't faced before and it's shifting how we're doing business, how we're living our lives, the patterns uh, that we are now building into our lives and it keeps evolving and changing and shifting. And I thought it would be really meaningful to take a moment as I have this amazing pool of experts and resources, basically these amazing people we get to tap into today to really talk about why is it important that we do come together to support each other in projects like this, especially during times like this, um, because I think that's good for all of us to think about what are things that we could come together, lean into and do um, to support one another, to cheer each other on and looking for opportunities like that to lean in because it isn't a solo journey. Life is not. And even if we may not be able to physically connect as we're used to, we can still connect and collaborate and build things that matter to us in our personal life and our business life. And sometimes there are new needs created because of what's going on in the world that we can uniquely step into and serve. So with that perspective, I'd love to go around our virtual room and tap into each of our amazing experts and just have you share um, briefly so that we do end the show on time because we need to do that. But I'd love for you to share with that thought, is there something that comes to your heart about why is it important, especially during times like this, that we do come together, that we collaborate? Why, especially now in environments like this? And Mary, I'd love for you to start. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. And as you were talking, I was just like, okay, this is a perfect example of us recognizing that our story is unique to us. And at the same time, we are a thread in the tapestry of the universal story. So how yes. we show up with courage and grace impacts the universe. Yes. Oh, thank you for sharing. That's such a beautiful visual and reminder. And it does matter. Every thread matters <laughs> in how we, mm -hmm. we choose to weave together. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Elle, how about you? What would you add to that conversation? Yes, I think um, I think as women, as mothers, community leaders, ladypreneurs, you know, we are all strong, amazing, and flexible, and we give back and so much. But we also thrive in community environments. You know, we um, in projects like such as this, such as your book. You know, where we feel support, we feel encouragement, where we feel elevated by each other. You know, by connecting to each other, and where we thrive. But I also think it's. it's so important because this creates a wave that transforms through nations, through, you know, through kids, through uh, generations. And I think that's, that's the core reason why we should, we should do this because it's our nature, um, because that's how we connect. We truly connect. And then this energy, it just goes and it's, it's, it's uh, encompasses, you know, all over and it multiplies. So Beautiful. I think that's especially right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for sharing. And I just, I love the uh, vision that all of you have, how we're all part of something bigger. And it really matters how we're showing up, how we're being part of that, not just for ourselves, but for those around us, that we impact each other. And we can do that in a really positive way, cheering each other on, supporting one another and lifting each other up. Thank you, Al. I really appreciate you sharing. And Michelle, I'd love for you to add to the conversation. 
Well, Rebecca, you know, being in the tech space and being the fact that a lot of uh, business models are shifting more, doing things online, what I am seeing and loving what I'm seeing is the um, opportunity for more collaboration and cooperation as women leaders, um, tech or not, because everybody has their strength that they're bringing to the business community. So I'm always open and ready to partner up. Uh, let's lead together. Let's we're more powerful together, and let's, you know, um, empower those that need the help out there that are looking and, and searching for any kind of answers and how they could survive this weird, crazy time that we're in right now. But uh, it's more about how I need to help them then stay relevant and competitive for long-term success as well. So that's kind of what I'm seeing and, and wanting mm-hmm. to participate more of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. And I think it's wonderful that openness to creating and coming together and seeing what we can do to serve even more, to reach even more people and that you don't need to do it alone. There are people like Michelle and Mary and Elle and Tina that will come alongside and cheer you on and support you. So um, remember that as we get ready to go back out into the world. I want you to know that you are not alone, that we are all here together, leaning into you and supporting you. And Tina, I would love for you to share as well, when we're looking at why is it important, especially during times like this, that we come together and support each other. I think it's important anytime, but especially during these kinds of times. I'd love your thoughts. Thanks, Rebecca. I Well, I believe that coming together as a collective of women to help other women rise up is just so important to the future self of every woman, including all of us, the ones that are collaborating. I believe that together we can make a positive impact by helping women to take both preventative measures and the actionable steps they need towards a thriving future, and especially right now when we're living in such uncertain times, now is not the time to play small or, or freeze in your tracks or do absolutely nothing. Now is the time to say, how can I make my situation better and how can I help someone else or how can I start planning to reinvent myself? Because if we can reflect on how would I start my life over again if I had the chance? What would I do differently? Now's the time to reflect on that. And so coming together to support each other on projects like this is what helps other women to reflect on any habits that weren't serving them before that are yeah. really only getting magnified by this pandemic and then seek to be able to um, seek out support so that they can make those positive changes. Yep. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And listeners, we just want to thank you for joining us today, bringing your collective hearts and energy and spirit. We feel that as we're connecting in. And our goal today was to encourage and empower you on your journey. So what I'd love for you to do is right June 10th on your calendar, because if this uh, special series that we're doing each week for the next three, four weeks, we're going to be talking with amazing experts like today. I want to encourage you to join us and learn from them. And if there's that resonance, put June 10th on your calendar. We'd love for you to take advantage of the special launch and this amazing book to support you in your journey. What I'd love for you to also do is as we bring the show to a close, please take two minutes to really receive what is being placed in your heart. Maybe there's that one step you can take to help yourself and help someone you know and reach out. That one step, that one pause makes such a difference and you never know the impact that reaching out to that one heart, one life can make. So remember that we are all connected. We're all part of each other. We're part of this beautiful garden of life and every one of you matters and is needed. So lean in, say yes to those opportunities that are calling you forth and be willing to bloom and shine. Have an amazing week, everyone. And I'll look forward to talking to you next time.
Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Influencers Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.